Dr. Owusu or Chalk. It's Dr. O for the 804. As the premier knee and hip shoulder sports surgeon, Virginia, I would like to remind you that health equals power. Sports build and uplift communities. Nothing else can. The mission of sports medicine is to keep athletes of all ages and levels at the top of their game. Dr. O is located at Ortho, Virginia, Schrader Road, office location. Appointments can be scheduled online at orthovirginia.com or by calling 804-939-6688. You can follow Dr. O on Instagram at Dr. O underscore for the 804 and uplifting educational content about sports health. Hi, everyone. I'm Coach Rick Stockel. I am co-owner of Newman and Dunn Real Estate here in Central Virginia, as well as I am a high school boys basketball coach at Monacan High School. I've sold over 1,300 homes here in Central Virginia, and I would love to work with you and your family in your home buying needs. Uh, I am a proud primary sponsor of Ballin in Virginia, and I hope you enjoy this show. Welcome to another episode of Ballin' in VA, and today, man, I'm taking it back 20, 20, 25 years now, man, yeah. and I got some player of the years, man. Look, 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 look. When I do stuff, man, I got to do it the right way. Today, I got Natasha Starks in the house, and I got Anna Prillerman here, man, so y'all going to sit back, man. We're going to take y'all back to memory lane. So what's up, y'all? Not, Not too much. 25 years. 25 Jesus. years. It made me feel old. That's a long time. <laughs> yeah, it's a long time, but y'all still look young. You know what I'm saying? I'm the old one up here. You know what I'm saying? I'm throwing out numbers and I don't really be need to be doing that. Yeah, you look like you still play. Yeah. Yeah. Still play stocks. <laughs> Who? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't played since I last saw you. We saw each other probably 10 years ago at the yeah. boys' home. Really? I was playing in the league with a couple of my friends, and she, you were not playing. I think you mm -mm. were just sitting there. I was there. We just there to see the game. Yeah. That, yeah. that might have been the last time I played basketball myself. Man, you know, y'all, listen, y'all had, did y'all have like, because there wasn't, how many times y'all played against each other? I want to say. Just that one time? That I was there. Probably every year. Okay. Yeah, Multiple times, maybe. Year, yeah. I don't know if it was ever on the schedule, like in right. the regular season. I think it happened in the playoffs. So it would be in the regional. In the regional, so down. Semis or finals. Yeah. Okay. So how many, who got the, who, who had the upper hand? <laughs> That's, I don't remember. Oh, man. I know we lost one because I almost broke my hand getting upset mm -hmm. on the ground. I remember that well. Was it two and two? Was it was it y'all's way three and one? I don't know. I don't know. You would have to ask Mr. What? Garrett and, and Gene Atkins. But probably listen, know. Well, if I know if I, they're probably Gene, she, before us. Listen, Stocks, you was three time player of the year. You split it one year with Chantree Smith back in what 97, 98, one of them years. I think it was 98. 98. Anna, you was the player of the year in 2000. You know what I'm saying? In that year, you went on and won the state championship at Midlow. You took Midlow to a state championship. Now you got to get go for that one. Thirty-one and zero. Y'all was undefeated. We were undefeated. Oh, wow. oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> Damn. You know who almost knocked us off of all people? Godwin that year. Godwin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see my face yeah. on that one. <laughs> of all people, it was Godwin, and then in the semifinals of the state, Mount Vernon almost got us. But other than that, yeah, we we rolled. I'm sure the game with you all was tight. I don't mm -hmm. remember. Central, was it the Central Region the Final? Central Region, As I yeah. told him, I said, I think we were at the Seagull Single for that. The Seagull Single for that game. Well, we we were. That was the first year. The first year. Yeah, that's what I said. We was at VCU for that game. Which I didn't like. I liked the Ashton are way better. Yeah, the Ashton is That was just like OG yeah. the atmosphere. Just the way the sound of the bands and the cheerleaders coming right, in. And it was so the who's who. Yeah. And I don't like playing in new arenas. That didn't do anything they for me. They were so open. Yeah. yeah, I love you know the Ash Center. People say it's a dump. I'm like, I would give anything to go to a game there again. Yeah. Man, I'm telling you, those were the old days. I think they should just go ahead and remodel the Ash. Yeah. Put that air conditioning in there because it's so hot in there. Is it? <laughs> yeah, I don't remember around. that at all. John Marshall was having their like, uh, coaches for a cure tournaments <laughs> there. It used to be packed, but it was so hot. That's right. With Mondo and uh, what's his face? Yeah, um, Henry and uh, Isaiah Todd. Yeah, that yeah, was, that, that, <laughs> yeah, that one was. I was supposed to go to that game. I got held up. Yeah, me. that one. So you was doing your athletic director duties. <laughs> I know. I think I was assistant AD at the time. Oh yeah, you were. Yeah, you were. That was twenty eighteen. Yeah, and I was left. gonna go, but somebody ended up coming to the house. We ended up 
having a couple drinks out back, and we decided to <laughs> <just> stay. <laughs> yeah, we didn't make it. <laughs> we didn't make it. See, the, the life of the athletic director. You know what I'm saying? I was not the AD yet. Well, you was not the AD <laughs> yeah, yet. Of course she, I would have been there. Was, <laughs> she, listen, listen. You know, she was one of my favorite AD. Currently, Anna right now is the athletic director of Trinity Episcopal. See, that's what I'm representing today. You know, I got a little barbecue sauce on there, so y'all excuse that. You know what I'm <laughs> But um, I had you know was eating the sandwich. I was hungry, but um, but yeah, you know, and I got my green on representing Henrico for the, you know the green and gold for you know stocks here. Did but you yeah. coach when she was there? No, I thought you were at Henrico for a while. No, no, I came way down the end. Like I, I coached with uh, Coach Atkins with Richmond Metro. Okay, you know, four years with right. her, and this was at her end. I think I came in the last year that she where she retired. She retired in 2012. I came in at, no, 2010. I came in 2010. So I came two years. And then my son's third year, she retired. Gotcha. Mm. Yeah. But we used to practice at Henrico. And you would come to the games when we were playing? Mm-hmm. Nice. She remember? She remember? See, I remember Jean from the community when she had the girls out there playing, you know, at Hoskins and at Pine Camp. Camp. She would take the girls everywhere. So if you played with Jean, and that's how Jean used to go into school and just pick her players that she wanted for AAU when she had the Blue Angels. Blue Angels, that was it. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So yeah. she, you, if Jean picked you, and if you was on her staff and things like that, you had to know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? So it was, you know, um, I, I, was, I was scared a little bit because you had to, if you ain't know what you were talking about, she was going to call you out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when you sit down and she'll tell the player, sit right here, and she's standing up. She said, I want you to sit right here because I want to make sure that you tell them, you know, just not me, but me, Wallace Ford, Coach Gianna, you know what I'm saying? So, Kat. I would assume that her style of coaching would not fly in 2024. No, oh, she'd be gone. No. I'd have to fire her. Stocks, I can imagine the things she said. <laughs> you can't get away yeah. with any of that. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I, that wouldn't last, right? No. Not in this time and era. But you still get people to coach that way. I just don't know if it still exists here. Right. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like I was telling you before you came in um, last year at the uh, Nike um, Nationals for EYBL, the uh, Caitlin Clark team, um, not Caitlin Clark team, the coach, the team that she played for all hour attack. They had the head coach. He coached Caitlin Clark since she was in the fourth grade. Uh -huh. mm. And so it was all the coaches there, Don Staley, I mean, everybody, Carol Lawson, everybody there. So Boo jumped out on them 28 to 9. So why this coach didn't call timeout at all during the time, I don't know. Mm-hmm. So he decided to call timeout. Have you ever seen Rocky IV? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You remember when going. he was fighting, the, the Russian was fighting Paulo Creed, yeah. and he just kept hitting him, and he slammed the towel there and said, Rock off! And the next thing you know, he was like, boom, 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 it's yeah. going off. So he just started going off. So the coach was just like, da -da 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 -da, just getting in the girl's face. So the girl just, the tears was coming out of her eyes, yeah. but she stood there and took it. So me, I got the game, I recorded the game. So I'm looking over there at Don and Carl Lawson and all of them. So they were just sitting there, right? So I was like, this ain't going to go over good. Man, next thing you know, halftime, they came all the way back, scored 39-38, all, all hour attack. How about that? And they responded. Nobody said a word. You can't do that anymore. But this was last year. Last year that, yeah. that happened? Last year. And the AAU circuit. AAU circuit. Okay. In my world, you can't yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> In the private school, school world. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I, and like I said, I got it recorded. So anybody, I, was, I was like, I'm looking at these coaches. I'm doing like this. I'm like, because I was right at their bench. Yeah. So I was just like, because Boo was like, their team was, their, their goal was right in front of their bench. So his first half, and I'm like, looking like, this ain't going to fly. Hmm. He like shoot. I mean, he was like all in their face, everything. They sat back down. Next thing you know, they was running a clinic. <laughs> well, the key to that is that the parents can tolerate it. Yeah, they ain't say nothing. Play. If you've That's got parents play. that are not tolerant of that, then yeah, you gotta get. And them. he was a real nice guy. Like we met him after the game and stuff like that. He was a real nice guy. I mean, that gets just the way that he'd been doing things for so long. And then the Iowa coach was there, the um the one that coached Kayla Clark. Now I'm sure. like, all the coaches were there. So they, sure. I mean, I guess they know him because they've been all over the circuit to see him, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, 
hey, you know, I guess he works maybe on the AAU circuit, but the high school, you know, the parents would have had a field day, no. especially the private school. Oh, no. <laughs> that would, that was like, we want his resignation, you know, or anybody that, like that. That's going to happen to them in college, though. So if you yeah. can take it now, you'll be all right because it's just going to happen in college. Well, Gino does it, right? All I'm pretty sure does, does well, that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> whether it's behind the scene or Kim Malky show on, on game day on TV. <laughs> that made it. Man, Kim. Don Staley. She's yelling at you. She but, need to call the time out. Right, but see, Don Staley gets a pass because everybody says she, she does it with class. I'm like, wait a minute, man. Why are y'all trying to give this lady a pass? I mean. <laughs> but those bro, kids know that those people care about them. That's yeah. what I'm saying. And it right. seems like I never played for Gene Atkins, mm -hmm. that she was made sure y'all knew that she cared yeah. about you as people at school, out in the neighborhood, whatever. Yeah. And, yeah. and you can get away with that when you lean into somebody that way. But if, if the kids don't think you give a crap, Gene, Gene was a you know, and stocks know more than I know, you know, because she was around, a, you know, a lot more than I was. But for me, I would say that Gene Bach was more vicious than her bite. Just for me, because yeah. because deep down, like Malik, Malik used to laugh at her when she was, he, he thought stuff was, was funny. Like she didn't it, curse, mm, you know what I'm funny. saying? It was but funny. just she was just. Malik was like, well, I ain't gonna do, you know what I'm saying? And she was just like, you gonna sit down beside me. She'll just threaten you with just, or oh, you gonna sit down, or if you turn around and look at your parents, you gonna be sitting right here. Yeah. And kids were like, okay, well, I wanna play, you know? But, and she just knew how to get the best out of you. And she, yeah. But she can coach. I ain't never had no worry about, I ain't never had a coaching issue with her. Now, yeah. that could be some issues, some things where you might say, okay, maybe we could have did this differently, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But not to the point where, to today is some of these high school coaches where we see, you know, where we not gonna go there, but we talked off record, like, there's no <laughs> yeah. way. My no favorite thing. was when she took her shoes off. Yeah. That's yeah. when you know she the jacket would come off first and then yeah. the shoes would come off. Yeah. She hot damn. Um <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But y'all's defense, I remember I remember so little about that time, but y'all's defense I remember being so suffocating. Yeah, and then gross. you played differently on offense. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. You shot it from the logo before shooting it from the logo <laughs> was a thing. I was like, is she serious? Pulling up from half court? Yeah, no yeah. choice, and I'm I shot it, y'all. <laughs> you are shot it. So I, I, I wasn't blessed with that height. So yeah. me growing up playing, I was already playing against, like I said, grown men. People in high school already, they first year in college. So I had to learn that quick. I was, like you said, I'm shooting that far because I have to. Mm -hmm. I'm shooting a floater that no one would even had a name for it because <laughs> I had to. You see what I'm saying? I never even thought about that. I bet the step back was created by a short person. Yeah, probably. Well, it had right, to be. It had to be. Because you got to get that space. Great. Yeah. Like, like, like. But yeah, I was always right up to the three-point line. I mean, my toe is right on it. Yeah. And she's five yards back from it. Shoot. Man, shoot. Y'all y'all used to hoop. Them, them was the days. How, how do y'all think today's game is now versus when y'all play? <sighs> I don't watch it enough probably to make a fair assessment of it. Because okay. when I'm in a, as an administrator, you're not watching the game. You're watching mm -hmm. the crowd. You're watching the coaches. You're managing a bunch of stuff. But it seems less structured to me, mm -hmm. maybe in a good way, because I think the athletes are better. Mm -hmm. But it lends itself to people. It feels like people don't know the game of basketball as well. Right. Because there's not as much structure, like quick hitter set plays, uh, like a real formally set up one two one one press you know full court press like i i don't see as much of that but i'm not out like you are watching yeah. the public schools and and everything i just don't see a lot of structure it feels like a, more aau basketball has trickled into high school it has it yeah. from the little that i watch what you think stocks from when you've seen recently i mean like i said i haven't watched it enough i know what i did come back home from school i was watching it and i just was trying to figure out who was the point guard who was the because everybody was the same height <laughs> so that was probably back in, I think I finally came back home 2005, 2006. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I probably watched one or two, three years, but I'm like, what? what is going on? Everybody's the same height. I don't know who playing what. Yeah. It just didn't give that old school feel. Mm -hmm. So I hadn't been to a game until I went to the Thomas Dale game, the region game. So mm -hmm. that was my first time going to the game in a minute. I kind of did get that feel back because you could see that it was some ballers on the court. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But like you said, the Thomas Dale team, I just think they need a little more structure. They need some plays to run because she got some some ballers over there. Mm -hmm. But you can see some people, oh, like, okay, this might be a good game right here. Mm -hmm. 
And some ballers out here. They just scattered around. Scattered around. To hand it to this generation, though, they're doing stuff that I never was able to do. And I think they all have, like, personal trainers that are teaching them all this type of stuff. But, I mean, from the little that I've seen of Lanny Grant, I wasn't doing that stuff. Yeah. Because people often ask me, well, do you think you would have been better than her? I was like, we're two very different players. We might look the same. Yeah, very different. Yeah. I, I wasn't taught that stuff. So, and I just think generally athletes are more athletic. Than they used to be, yeah. But I, I would God, I mean, it's the age old thing. Like it'd be so fun to take our teams from Henrico and Midlow and match up against like James River and Manchester, Manchester and Thomas right. Dale and see how that would have gone. I mean, yeah. they, yeah, yeah. They, you ain't seen no Mia Wolfox out there. When, no, uh, when y'all was playing. No, know? and she saw Mia like you know, like Mia just beat Thomas Dale by herself, didn't it? Yeah, she did. <laughs> yeah. So you thinking about like, I'm just thinking like you you played against Katie Tracy, right? Yeah. So good. Between her and Laney. But, I mean, I feel like Laney's yeah. eons more athletic. Yeah, right, but, yeah. yeah. And Katie was, like, the most athletic thing that came out of Richmond at she that time. She played everything. soccer. She and But she was slow. Bull. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't no, I'm going to pop, pop and go. It was, I'm going to go through you. Even though she was, I think she was shorter than me. Yeah, she yeah. was small. She just was stocky with it, but. She's quick. She had yeah. that in and out. Yeah, but she's smart as I'll get out. Had to get out of lane on that. I I um I was her roommate on the road at UVA, and she would get up at like four thirty five in the morning to go work out because she was training to be a professional soccer player, and so she was trying to sneak getting in an extra workout. She was just focused and that's, and the nicest person you've ever met in your life. And, and see, that's what Laney is. Laney works. Like every time you see Laney, you don't see like videos of Laney. Mm-hmm. You see Laney in the gym working. Yeah. Like, steps and yeah good for like, her. yeah she's just doing a whole lot of stuff like shooting 120 jump shots you know just like in a video you know? well that that's the also the big difference right. like we were doing that we weren't putting it on well see the difference yeah. with video with, <laughs> and showing yeah, everybody yeah see we well, it was very no behind the curtain but yeah we, we put up shots social and, media is really helping them right see yeah. y'all was out there playing on the court mm-hmm. against each other outside yeah these kids got they more gym players you know, they got all these trainers and everybody, stuff like that. And It was really about the love of the game, I feel yeah. like, back then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just go up to, there's this place called Briarwood. It's like, I don't even know, uh, it's ACAC now. And I would just go up there for like eight hours and find a, well, I just want to play, pick up with the guys. Mm-hmm. Just because I liked it. Yeah. I'd go out to a public park. Hey, can I play? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think they're doing that anymore. They're not just going to try to find a pickup game of basketball. No, they, they, they need a trainer. And if I'm a parent, I'm like, I got to pay $50 for yeah. you to go yeah. out and play basketball? Yeah. Like, that's mm-hmm. crazy. Yeah. yeah, these trainers are making a lot of money now. It's, if a lot of money. And yeah. some of them are good. Yeah. But some of them are... Stealing money. It's trash. <laughs> Stealing money, yeah. Let's Adam Lonnan is good. I've seen him train. Who? Mm-hmm. Adam Lonnan. I've seen him train. He is good. Uh-oh. <laughs> Here he goes. Okay. Uh, I don't. I don't see anybody else. But some of the people, it just it feels like a waste of money where you can just go out and, and play some basketball and do some workouts on your own. You learn the drills. You can do it by yourself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. True. Do, do, do y'all think about even getting back out there to coach? I've been asked several times. I. I don't. Think I, 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 did you ever? No. no. I, 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 listen. When I saw her. When we was at that Thomas Dale Manchester game and the stuff that she was saying, like, man, just like, oh, I just wish she can just get back out there. Just like when 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 Tiffany, when I found Tiffany the same way, kind of like I found stock when Tiffany came back out. Tiffany um, Bauer, Curly mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. And Tiffany has that love and that passion of the game. It just like, you never lose it. Like, Tiffany was when I took Tiffany to the Verona Kings Fort game, and she was like, "Stocks," just was just like, "Man, they need to do this, they need to do that," and I was just like, you know, I missed that because you guys I called like the superstars of the game, you know what I'm saying? Like, you were what three time All Metro player, All State, you were All State, you know what I'm saying? Then you even went into coaching. You know, um, and you kind of did it all, Anna. You know what I'm saying? You went to school and played ball. Tiffany went to school to play ball. And this is like now, it's like you see all these other coaches and stuff, and I don't really know who they are. Yeah, well, the problem is, and I can absolutely speak to this from an administrator's standpoint, is the good ones are being run off. Why? Parents. 
Yeah. These overprotective, I got to get every single bit of failure and obstacle out of my child's way. And I'm going to do that by getting upset about the coach and the playing time. And my kid came home upset and my kid says that they're depressed and it's, I'm going to blame the coach on it instead of just letting them work through it. And look, like I say this with a grain of salt because I'm not a parent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't want like, I get it. I don't have that lens. I'm sure it's devastating to see a kid come home upset because mm -hmm. of lack of playing time, whatever it is. But when they direct that at coaches, like it's not worth it. Mm -hmm. Especially at the high school level, you're getting paid a couple grand. It's a grind yeah. mm -hmm. because you make it a full-time job if you actually like it because you're scouting, you're mm -hmm. traveling all over the place, you're taking phone calls with your assistants at all hours, with parents at all hours, you're emailing. And then somebody comes in and questions your competence, your integrity, your character. You know, you're like, you know what? It's not worth it anymore. Mm -hmm. And then you lose what is used to be this big love for the game. And I've, I, I can speak for myself that that happened to me. And I've seen it over and over again with high school basketball coaches. So I'm quick to defend coaches because to me, if you're not there at every single practice, if mm -hmm. you're not there in every single huddle and every single – coaches conversation on phones then you don't know the whole story about what's going on so how can you assess how this man or this woman is doing right so that's my kickback and we could talk about it to y'all saying something about a coach like you're not there every day so how do you know what combos are working and mm -hmm. and what old girl's attitude was the other day mm -hmm. you don't so i can't like that's why i just get this is why i had the passion to get an athletic administration because i wanted to stand up for the coaches because the good ones are leaving. And then what happens when the good ones leave? This mud comes up from underneath yeah. and they fill in the positions. And you and you was a high school head coach at, at Lee for how long? Four years. Then you went to? St. Catharines for St. two because mm -hmm. I was the volleyball coach there. Right. So I also helped Ed. Okay. My man, Sherrod. My man, Sherrod. Shout out to Coach Sherrod. And then the whole Trinity thing came together and I coached there, I think, for five years before yeah, you, I ended it off. Yeah. And I was just over it. Uh, at Atlee... I'll tell you a quick story. We were up 80 to 14, something wild like that on Armstrong. What? <laughs> <laughs> I had like six or seven players that night. I mean, we were up at least 60 points. Oh, and I, Armstrong. And I wow. take out our best player. Again, we've only had like six or seven players, so I didn't have too many options. Well, I take her out. Right after the game was over, buzzer rang. Mom comes over to me. You're a bitch. You have no business coaching these girls. I'm what? Like, I'm like, what's going on? Come to find out she was like close to her average for the night and I had taken her out right before oh. she got to her average. She had me in tears. I didn't even know what was going on because mm -hmm. at, at Midlow, Mr. Garrett talks you, you don't think about your average. You don't yeah. think about how much you score. You don't ask for the scorebook after the game. My like Coach Atkins you, was like that. You're going to win, yeah. period. Who the cares if you score If you're up 60-some points, we're going to take your ass out, sit you down. You get some extra right. rest because we got another game whenever it's coming up. Why well, I'm still playing you for the whole game if y'all get the mom like yeah. that? That's I mean, crazy. right after the game. Really? And there's incidents like that that happen all the time. Right after the game, with parents just they can't take a deep breath. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the so so mm. so the athletic director. So they come find you. So oh, I was at, coaching at the time. Oh, you was coaching at, at that, Atlee, right? Yeah. Wow. It was wild. Yeah. That was right when I was like, man, I don't know if I can do this forever. Because it yeah, just takes the, the wind out your sails. Time change. You, you're not, I don't see how anybody coaching this era right now. Yeah, it's definitely wow. if how you was coached was the old school way. Right. You can't turn that off. You can't. You and can't. I know my mouth. I know how I was coached definitely by Fletcher Johnson mm -hmm. and Gene. So you got to – I tell people all the time, don't worry about how it came out. Mm -hmm. Just listen to, the, listen to the message. There you right. go. Yeah. Because – how I'm talking to you right now, when if we in that moment and I'm yelling at you, I'm screaming at you, that's what's gonna happen on the coach's level. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're gonna call you at some stuff you ain't like, what he just called me or what she just called me? Are you scared? Are you a a body part? Like what's wrong with you? Mm -hmm. You have to get that mentality and you just need to let it fuel your fire. Don't worry about backing down. We want you to stand up. That's why we're trying to pull it up out you. But most parents, they can't handle that. They can't sit in that place like how mine did. Even if I was right, I bet not say nothing. Mm -hmm. yeah, sometimes your, I was right. What were your parents like? Set their ass right there. Don't <laughs> you say nothing. <laughs> Don't you say nothing. <laughs> Even if I wanted to say something, yeah. better word it right. Yeah, yeah, right. Better word it right. Or if I did go back at Jean, Jean, she was more of, because at this point in time, which was crazy, she's still playing. Yeah. She was still playing. She was still playing. Oh, my God. Her, 
Jana. Coach Jana. We like playing. So I gotta go against her, Jean, Tracy, Tracy, Kat, yep, with Kat coming out there. there. Chantel might come Some out there. Some of the there. other players that then played yep. college ball that Jean knows. Tiffany came out there when we when we she, was coaching. Yeah, bringing guys in from Pine Camp. So say we have awesome. one of them moments where Jean. <clears throat> All right, get your get your fire. Come on. Mm -hmm. So she might not have went at me all the time with. Like that. Oh, don't worry about it. Wow, yep. you know she had the crazy. Yeah, she, yeah, she, yeah, she, yeah, she, yeah, she threw <laughs> it. Yep. She like, yeah, she like, like it with it. Yeah. She come. Yeah. All right, y'all got that one. Don't worry about it, coach. Hold on, let's rewind. Yep. Now I'm gonna go out here and show you that I'm not scared of that. Yep. So that was my feud of my fire. I, I respect that, but yeah, she let me tell you, come over here and guard me though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you ain't even you ain't doing that on me. You doing that on come call me or come over here. Yep, she always. So you gotta just smoke. go back respectfully in whichever way you can. But parents just don't sit there no more. They no. wanna. They I can't. paid this three hundred dollars. Yep. My player needs to play. Um, my player better than this one. Oh my god. Everybody, everybody, everybody child is not gonna be on the same level. You gonna have five to start. A quick six and a seven is going to be the first two off the bench. Mm -hmm. And the rest of y'all, we're going to try to get y'all in, depending on what we need at that moment or who's in foul trouble. Amen. There's yeah. a finite she, she told amount us, of she was like, yeah. She told us, she said, I'm paying the AAU fees. She said, the reason why I'm paying the AAU fees, she said, because I won't determine who's going to play. She said, ain't nobody going to tell me who ain't going to play. She said, for the Nationals, I pick my own team. And if I tell you you ain't going, I'm going to take whoever I want to the Nationals. I'm not going to take everybody because I know some of y'all are not going to make it. And that's how she did it. Yeah. And she was like, you know, because I remember when I was on the bench with her, I did, Malik was coming off the bench when he first got there. And she came to me, she said, no, coach, Malik need to start. And I was just like, well, I don't want to buy, I think it's a favoritism type of thing. And Malik was like, well, I could see the, this is Malik was like, he was 12. He said, coach, I would rather come off the bench because I can see the game better. So when I come in, his own words, that I can know what I need to do. Go for him. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And, and she said, no, I'm going to make Malik all around player. <clears throat> so that's just how she did things. But, you know, but then she was always bringing in somebody else. She'll bring a 14U team in and come in and play against 12 year old. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Or she'll bring some more adults. Like she said, I remember Tiffany. I mean, she had some other girls that played for her. I was yeah. like, listen. You never every day when you came to practice, you don't know what what Jean was gonna do. She just was gonna do that, you know what I'm saying? And stuff like and when said in practice, was said in practice, and it was just left like that. But nobody took it personally. The kids was cool with it, but the kids that were built with it, they didn't come back. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? There was a couple of them, you know. But where are they now in life, and how tough are they, and what can they endure? Right. Like rubber really hits the road exactly. and things really get tough. Like, yeah. let's teach them how to deal with all that stuff in like a safe vacuum, basically. Yeah. And, yep, and she did a lot of that stuff. You know, she <laughs> was, yeah, Jean, Jean had her stuff with her too. But for the most part, like I said, she taught me a lot. And I'm thankful for her putting me in the position that I can just try to be able to learn as much as I know about the game. And yeah. I still don't know nowhere near compared to what you guys know. You know what I'm saying? So um, I was just thankful to just be put in that position. But, no, the stuff that she did for my son and the career he in now was because of Gene. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? She directed them there. And and and, and when she saw Coach John the other day at the Seagull Center, she gave him a big hug. She said, oh, my God. She said, and she first thing Malik said, he said, I'm, I'm in that same field that y'all told me to be in. Mm -hmm. So it was beyond that stuff. But these kids these days, it, it, it's the parents. The, it, it's, it's the parents. Yeah. I can't, it is the yeah. parents and the players because yeah. the parents reflect. I mean, the kids reflect off their parents. Oh, it's a they, trickle down effect. Yeah, they talk sure. like they already. And I can them. tell, like day one, when people come in and they sit <laughs> down there, the parents and they slouch and they just watch their kids the whole time and they're just mad. Yeah, it's like how about sit with another parent, catch up on your day, and cheer for the team. How about that? Like, they, no, it's all about it's a positive me, atmosphere me around this gym instead of just being pissed the whole time. Yeah, it's it's about me. And you hear, I mean, you'll hear gasps from like when kids come out, like a parent will be like, oh my God. Right. Yeah. It's like yep. So dramatic. Yeah. But, that, <laughs> like, but, that, but when did that change though? It's so stupid. I don't know. It's To me, it's a respect thing too. It's like, already kind of, you already had, but it's just out of control. Now, you had a few that was like that. that felt like my child was entitled and I'm entitled and they need That's to the word. It's entitled. But now it's just yeah. out of control right. at this point. Now, I don't know if Anna can ask this, answer this question, but I'm going to ask you anyway. <laughs> Let's go. That. Let's go. As an athletic director, that's your current position right now, right? How many emails a day <laughs> that you get in regard, phone calls that you get? Because I know one AD that I talk to. Oh, my gosh. 
twice a week, and I know what he tell me. Well, first of all, let's be clear. Trinity is an amazing community. Right. And the overwhelming majority of parents are supportive, fun, nice people, willing to help out. But of course, in every single school, there's going to be a small percentage that are going to worry about playing time. Right. For me this year, it's pretty slow. Because everybody knows I'm on my way out the door. <laughs> like, she ain't going to do anything. No, she, yeah, she I ain't messing with her. But yeah, the uptick is during basketball season. Right, every, I was say. Everybody in the country knows how to play basketball. Have you noticed that? Yeah. But nobody complains about volleyball playing time or nope. field hockey playing time. Baseball or even soccer. Because people don't know those sports as well. Yeah. And basketball is so in your face. I think there's like an embarrassment. My child's not playing. Like all that. I, don't, I couldn't put a number on the amount of emails but, a day. But they, it can get intense. During basketball season, football season, you have issues, but they don't usually deal with playing time. It's more like behavioral stuff and just the egos of football. You know? <laughs> <Gotcha>. <laughs> but uh, yeah, basketball is by far the worst, and it can it can get pretty intense. A few years ago, it was really bad, but mm. it's died down a little bit. <laughs> well, I mean, since we we're in that time, this state championship time, we just coming off there. I just want to go ahead and shout out Manchester for winning that class six championship. Um, James River went to the championship game. They fell short, but it was an amazing season for them, as well as Thomas Dale. Um, and I'm just speaking of the girls' side. Shout out to John Marshall for winning. Verano fell short this year, um, just to name a few local teams. But I want to ask you, Anna, going back, and I'm going to go back to Stocks too, what do you remember about your state championship run in 2000 when y'all y'all was making that run? The, for, for me, it was like the uh, the whole town came out. And it was probably why I thought it was necessary for me to go back into education and coaching and give back because that whole experience that year, it just felt like everybody we knew, knew about it, knew about the run, came to Lynchburg to, for those that Final Four game, those two games, obviously. Mm -hmm. So I would say the community support around it. People still talk about it. It's crazy. Did, and did, I don't value it as much right, as maybe right. I should. <laughs> it's like... It's a, I was 18 years old. We, you know, we won a lot of basketball games. It doesn't mm. do anything for me now. But it is nice when somebody's like, yo, weren't you on that 2000 state championship team? That was pretty cool. So going down memory lane, they memory lane is nice. Midlow hasn't. No, they we went to the championship game. I did and, go to that and, game. And Megan closed yeah. the game. She blocked that shot at the buzzer. That girl would have made that layup. They would have won. I Make told it. you on my last podcast, I wore my ring to that game. I never had touched my ring. <laughs> I wore my ring to the game. Y'all had that thing in the bag. <laughs> and then I went out afterwards yeah. and lost it. And lost at a bar it. in the fan. The oh, I'm <laughs> Somebody got a Midlow State Championship <laughs> game. I need to turn that thing in. Yeah. But it's a magical run. I mean, you, you don't forget stuff like that. But again, I don't value it. Like, it's... Did you... Did, but do you rem do, uh, From what you remember, did you go into that, that season knowing that this team right here and this player right here that y'all had to go through 100%. them to get there? hundred percent. I mean, there was a, I, I mean, you can speak to this, Natasha. There, there was like a mutual respect between the teams. I mean, mm -hmm. we obviously came from two different sides of the city. We didn't like mingle with each other outside of girls basketball. You know, we knew the James River girls. We knew the Clover Hill girls. We'd mm -hmm. see them at parties. We'd go out with them, but mm -hmm. we didn't know them. Mm -hmm. I know I was a talker in high school, like talk trash. <laughs> oh, I didn't yeah. say a word to them. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say She's nothing. <laughs> you don't remember? <laughs> <laughs> but I heard a lot of people say that you are trash talk. I was. And I've never. To me, it was part of the game. Like, I, didn't, <laughs> I don't think I did it to like be a jerk. I, I thought it gave you a competitive advantage. Mm -hmm. And But I wouldn't say nothing to Michelle Atkins. Are you kidding me? Or <laughs> Brandy. Would, I wasn't saying nothing to her. And then I just had general respect for you. So <laughs> there was no friendly banter between us, but there right. was no negative banter between right. us at all. It was all business. And it, you could just feel, you know how you just feel the air around some game. Right. Like that yeah. thickness was there no matter where we were playing. Um. Yeah, that was a game that you already knew it was going to be packed. Regardless packed, of right. As you was cheering for and people just coming to see the game. Mm -hmm. Lots of people. Yeah. And, and it's funny it, It's funny how things work because if you got the two best teams and two best players that year, it always seems like that whoever wins that game becomes the player of the year, which you won that game and then you end up being the player of the year, which it would have been four straight for you if you would have got it. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Did you feel some type of way that you didn't get four straight? I don't think I felt anything at all, to be honest. I think that was more of 
Gen like you said, yeah. I'm a player yeah. who just went out and played. I can't tell you my stats from freshman all the way to senior. I don't know. I can't tell you what I average, how many assist <laughs> points. Assist, I can't tell you none of that. I just went out and played the game. Yeah. Well, let's just let me let me help y'all remember in case she, she don't know. Um, both of them. Best. I'm I'm going off of just I can sit here and, and Google. <laughs> I don't think it's on there. <laughs> I don't think it's on there because we so many decades ago. Yeah. I, I think There's it only no goes back to existed. like twenty. Well, yes, it is. <laughs> sure. I, I, what I did was I, um, I, I screenshotted some stuff, right, and, um, and I had the girl side, and so I can't imagine Gene Atkins in that meeting mm -hmm. with the vote. <laughs> exactly. Look. I'm out of parliament should be when they bought my stock standard. She did it three times in a row, you know. That. My dad thinks that Gene Atkins likes me. I'm like, Dad, no, no, she does not. You, listen, at that, all. that state championship as of 2012, I can't speak to today, but I know that that when I used to mess when I think this was you probably working at at U turn or something mm -hmm. then. I remember that. And I just remember we used to go on there and shit that goddamn Anna <laughs> like, you know, Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, here we go. We're gonna be yeah. like, my dad's like, she has such respect for you. I, I mean, like, I that believe lady it can't was, stand me. Yeah, no, she, she Yeah, she, she, it, it was though. respect. It was yeah. just from a basketball standpoint. And like I said, it was just like, you know, I guess probably going in there to thinking that she was gonna probably was gonna probably beat y'all. Yeah. And I just think that was that one year that I felt like that y'all was gonna win. And she didn't get it done, mm -hmm. and it just felt like, well, damn, you know. And then you went on and won, then add insult to injury. You won a state championship that year, so I mean, that's just. I mean, I'm not speaking for Gene, but I'm just kind of thinking. Yeah, that's probably what it was. I think the state championship game was an upset. Yeah, Rob I think that's what Robinson High School. What six thousand kids? I mean, that's huge. all the time. Wow. Yeah, that's a huge. We were high down school. at like fifteen hundred, so I think it was an upset. Yeah, I think it was because you talk about all those those they always have like big schools up there. And I think that's why they did reclassifications and stuff like that because they got all those those schools up there. They got so many kids that you can't even like. They got probably got six thousand and probably the biggest school down here probably got maybe two thousand. I know it's most. just that's, a different world for yeah, sure. That's crazy. Six thousand? How big is this? School? <laughs> Man, they got two gyms, three it's gyms at that school. It's not like a college campus already. Yeah. Yeah, so looking at this here, all right, let's go back to 1995. There's no way they're going to have that on. Katie, well, we got Katie, we all Metro team was Katie Tracy, Kim Brown, Henry Go, um, somebody named Jamie Claypool, Midlow. Oh, yeah. Christy Little and Salita Thomas Petersburg. 96, Katie Tracy, Jamie Lang Atley, mm -hmm. Lisa Mickens, Latasha Sheldon Henrico, Katie Marsh Clover Hill. 97, here we go. Katie Tracy, Lisa Mickens, Natasha Stocks, Jamie Lang, and Maxine Cheatham, John Marshall. Y'all used to have battles with Atley. Yeah. Every Big time. Year. Big time. March on the same district? Yes. Capital. <laughs> <laughs> I missed the Central Region. That was so much better. 97, Shantri Smith, Mary Rose Campbell, Douglas Freeman, yep. Jamie Lane, Kimberly. Capeco. Yep, that's her. Yeah, Midlow. And Natasha Stocks. Second team, Michelle Atkins, Cammie Desmond, James River, Katie Everybody. Marsh, Anna Prilliman. And Nina Stocks from Prince George. So you made second team, 97. Coming in from the back. Coming in from the back. <laughs> <laughs> took me a while to grow. 1998. So you you took a big jump here. So, okay. So, again, <laughs> Natasha Stocks. When you number one, that means you play of the year. So I guess whatever it is. So 1998, Natasha Stocks, Anna Prilliman, Mary Rose Campbell, Stephanie Walker, Verona, yeah. and Jay Lefty. Like Maricillo uh, at James River. Jay Marillo, yeah. Jay, yep, okay. And then 99, 2000. Anna Prilliman. See if she can name him. Huh? Who, you? 
Do you think you can name him? I can't. Yeah. Megan Dickerson. Oh, huh, yeah. She came to Midlow. That's the reason we won the state championship. <laughs> <laughs> she transferred from Monica. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, everybody was so mad about that, thinking she did it because basketball. Oh, she so did. they were doing transfers and stuff but back listen, here, right? Megan Dickerson is a from a Mormon family, and she was the oldest of like 10 kids. Really? So they moved to our district for a bigger house for all these little kids. Those parents didn't give a rat's so about <laughs> basketball, but we yeah. got the finger pointed at us, boy. <laughs> <laughs> we were recruiting. Hey man! Oh, so the, the oh, boy don't get me started when it comes to the recruitment. <laughs> Stephanie Walker and Claire Trahan of Hermitage. I do not remember that. Part. I don't know that either. So yeah, two thousand. Yeah, the only player I remember that was good from Hermitage was Joy Irby. Yes, Joy yeah. Irby and Megan Silva went there too. Mm -hmm. And then two thousand one was um who was his other teammate? Second team. You play with a Chloe, 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 Jep, yeah, uh, Jep Jepson. Yes, it's not with N E Midland. something, something like that. She played for Midlow, and then there was somebody I can't even see it, but two thousand one was Brittany Anderson. That's what she was. She was a beast. Meadowbrook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember her. Yeah. There was some good talent back then. Yeah. yeah, I felt like I mean, you know, Richmond's Richmond's. We don't have a professional team or whatever, no, but no. high school basketball is a big deal that around was a here, big deal and I think it then. probably still is, right? I mean, that yeah. Thomas Dale game was packed. That yeah. Thomas Dale game, I had never seen a game like that since the Seagull Center. Day. That makes me happy because we don't see those crowds in private schools for girls. No, I would no. love if that would turn no. around. Why do you think? What What is the biggest? Reason why the girls game now I will give it to Stewart. Their state championship game was packed. Cool. That went um, a couple of weeks ago. Um, they lost to I think it was either Virginia Academy or Peninsula Catholic somewhere or something mm -hmm. like that. But why do you think that the private school game with girls don't attract those players and get those crowds? Why? Just I, you know when I first got to Trinity, I was trying to put the equation together just so I could help bolster it. Um, so I asked my dad, I'm like, why did people come to our games? Mm -hmm. And he said, you guys were popular in the school. So you had a lot of different friends in a lot of different areas. And you all went out to other games to support everybody else. So mm -hmm. you guys were the first people with your face painted in the boys game. And you went to the soccer games and you went to the field hockey games. So it was like, shoot, I went to show choir. I got in trouble for driving to Lynchburg to watch a show choir. One time. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I was dead ass. Yes. Wow. <laughs> show choir. So the whole thing is like, if you support somebody else, they're going to support Port you. Right. And of course you got to be good. Mm -hmm. So all of those variables together, but that's happened at some of these schools where they've had talent. And of course, kids that are active in the schools, it just hasn't, I, I wish I knew why. I think, I'm going to give y'all the real answer. Yes. I'm going to skip back. I still work for a private <laughs> That's what I said. I'm going to give y'all the real answer. Yeah, yeah. That was good. Respectful, yeah. respectful answer, yes. The real answer is, just we've talked about this last time I saw you. At the end of the day, when you look at private school and you look at city and counties, most people are going to say city and county have the best players over private schools mm -hmm. unfortunately and even though it may be some ballers in the private schools mm -hmm. they're going to say well can they beat a Henrico can they beat a James River can they beat a at Lee? can 100%. they beat a Thomas can they do that because that's when you're going to be able to tell me that you 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 can ball or that yeah that school has a good team mm -hmm. most people consider city and those Chesterfield County schools top notch mm -hmm. if it ain't all five you know you're gonna have to deal with the top two that is true. And there's bigger communities. I mean, yeah. Trinity's 500 kids. Yeah. Right. What are any of these public schools? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, don't forget about the year Trinity won the Times Dispatch for both the boys and the girls. And the girls. They were heads out at the yeah, Richmond they, Coliseum. Yeah, they were top heavy. Yeah. Um, so that happens. But yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, we got I mean, I, I think the bo on the boys' side, the private schools are... It's, it may be a little... inching up. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's been inching up. Yeah, so yeah, yeah you yeah, started to have, okay, two, three players at that private school that maybe played in the city or they didn't just relocated sure. or move. Okay, they might be a problem. They might can beat Holland Springs or or Meadowbrook or whatever mm -hmm. the top high school teams is in the city or the county. But, right. but for the most part, 
them 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 um, um, private school versus public them public schools was blowing private schools out. Yeah, it wasn't even <laughs> back when we were there. Yeah, I mean, nobody was at yeah, yeah, private nobody schools. was private schools like, back in nobody. the day. Nobody. That's for the girls. Mid two thousand, that's when you start seeing Benedictine start coming mm -hmm. up. Yeah, and it was just like, okay, wow, you know, John Marshall was always there, but you write them Chesterfield kind of schools. It was always James River, mm -hmm. Midlow, Monacan. The Dominion District was wild. Yeah, wild. yeah. Huguenot was still even though. That's Huguenot, yeah. She wasn't yep. on that list? Yep. Yep. That's weird that she wasn't on that list. It was like Midlow always kept a team. I don't, I don't mm -hmm. care who it is. Midlow was just always, it was like, it, it, it was just, it, and Bird, of course, Bird. Bird always had yeah, your back, Bird. everybody, you know. But our coach passed down traditions through the years that made it be like really cool to be a part of the program. So athletes would just come play girls' basketball, even if basketball wasn't your thing. The starting five, my the year we won, I think one of Megan went to BYU to play soccer. Um, we had another girl playing some other sport. I mean, it just was diverse on there as far as just athleticism goes. Mm -hmm. He was really big on passion down traditions. Hell of a coach and just a really good guy. Yeah, um, that's good. What was it? It was Coach Garrett. Doug Garrett. Yeah, yeah. he's the best. I mean, you know just. What? Did you get your Hall of Fame yet in Midlow yet? Did they... I don't know if they have one. They I am not in it if they if they do have I'm one. I'm surprised. I thought all high schools had that. I don't even know who the AD is. Oh, I know, the, I know who the AD is. Yeah, I need to go over there and make a phone call. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they have a Hall of Fame. Well, I really they don't. need one. They wow. need one. Yeah, she just got in. Like, when did you get in? I don't know, a couple, a couple of years ago, because I thought, don't you got to be a little older? To be <laughs> <laughs> we are. We're very I want to say I was still in my late 30s when I guess it's been a couple of years ago since they... Yeah, usually going to be 10 years out. out. Yeah, so I think I was... It was, was I 38? Did you play other sports ever? I played softball a little, but uh -huh. I just was a basketballer. And I yeah, was yeah. a huge basketball player. Yeah, yeah. I've been, been playing since, shit, I was three, so that's all <laughs> I knew. All I wanted to do. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. That, that's crazy. Do y'all remember who who was the um if y'all can remember because I think I asked you this before. Who were the best boys and girls basketball players doing y'all time that y'all saw when y'all was in high school? Uh I remember Dominic Jones at Manchester. Manchester. Yeah. He was the player of the year, my senior year, yeah, I remember because yeah. we had to take that picture. Yeah, VCU. Is that where he went? Yeah. Oh God, what Hargett? Yes. Hard that's, so, that's, he's that's, the best guard I've ever seen. I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. They came into mid level and, and I was like, who is and this? And I had to say Luke. Luke Mon. When he, he was at George with Luke Mon because I played with Luke Mon when I was another one I was balling against on Reed Court when we was in middle school. Because I think he got here when I was in middle school, either high school. Because yeah, he played, Luke I mean, at uh, middle school with me with Fletcher Johnson okay. at Elkhart. So I'm like, his mindset, because he is a thanker. He's one of the ones that I'm going to drop 30, mm -hmm. but I'm going to play your ass from this line all the way down to that line. He was right. one of them. I'm I'm on offense and defense. I don't remember. See, who did he play for? He played, played for with George He came out of 99. Really? Yeah, and he went to Virginia Union. Okay. I think he won one, yeah. one of, um, National Championship. National Championship there. Yeah, yeah. Luke won. Yeah. Light skin, real light. Low season cut. Remember him. Point guard. I, when I first started paying attention to high school basketball, I was in middle school. Colin Descharn was that. Yeah, he Freeman. was man. Yeah. yeah. Was the very was first high school basketball game I went to was Godwin Freeman. And to this day, I think it's the best rivalry in Richmond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back then. <laughs> the Godwin students weren't in the gym when the starting lineup started. You're talking about the student sections. And, and then the they ran in when they were announced. Yeah. They did the paper thing. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean. Yeah. There's some definitely some people at Trinity that would be upset with me because they, you know, Trinity Benedictine's a big deal. But like <laughs> Godwin Freeman, that place yes. was rocking. And Freeman, those old bleachers, you yeah, know, like man. oh my god. So I've been back to see that game a couple times. Colin Jasharm was it. Yeah, he was it. Who was that other white guy at uh Tucker? Tucker's uh Jill Hogan's brother. I don't know him. You know, he was good too. He was at Tucker. Yeah, I, don't I think he was at Tucker. Yeah, but yeah, I don't remember too many guys. Midlow was trash. I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Grant's father was on some of those teams. He, he was the Midlow. <laughs> he was a good little basketball player. Really? The best we had. <laughs> well, that explains what I think you know, did. Yeah. Shout out to Jeff Grant. <laughs> He's a good little guard, yeah. Wow, I wonder. I was like, I ain't never heard of Jeff, but I guess now we know why. My brother was on the team. He is not good at basketball. Yeah, that team was Lady there. Dad came up with before you or after you? He was 98, so two years. Wow. Mm -hmm. Good wow. little athlete. Very good athlete. Wow. Well, that, that explains a lot then. Yeah. See, he, he knows the game. He was a cerebral player, too. Really? Mm hmm. Mm.
I didn't know you didn't know that. No, I, I, like, I know some things, but I don't Maybe know. Maybe he everything. can come on your show and talk about it. He should. <laughs> I this going come on, to Jeff. You. Don't go, be scared. And, and, uh, go ahead. Hook me up, Anna. Go ahead and tell Jeff right now. Like, everybody he, knows. I think he owns restaurants around here. We could plug his restaurant and everything. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he used to be Cafe Couture. I think he's Taza Kitchen now. That's that's his place. That's I, right up I here. think so, yeah. You have to check that. And if it's wrong, you can edit it out. But yeah, <laughs> I know he was Cafe Katura. But yeah. Wow. So he can come out here, he can promote his appetizers and all that. <laughs> Y'all can talk about Jeff Grant, I'm gonna be tagging you on this one. So I I'm gonna look on the tag lady. Right if I go out to make sure this get the clip. So like, look. Come on out. Yeah, you know. Disagree, man. disagree. Look, just look, yeah, man. Come on, sit here. Look, new information, Jeff. <laughs> new information. That's my new word. New information. Shout out to Rasheen Johnson on that. New information. I know before that I said that, you know, let's go up put out there. That I said Nala Wilson, you know, at the time last year was, you know, better than, you know, Laney. I thought that I would I would take Nala Wilson over that at that particular time. Mm -hmm. So I, I get it. So I understand why you upset with me. But new information, you know, <laughs> that Laney is the Gatorade State Player of the Year, you know, in Virginia. And so, of course, you know, by that omission, I mean, by that right now, the star dropped 40 on Princess Anne. Mm -hmm. And anybody that dropped 40 on Donnell Dozier, the GOAT, you know, 759 wins, 34 losses, or oh, just wow. Something, wow. something like that. You know, I gotta shout you out, man. You know, gotta you gotta you did a good job with Laney. So, you know, new information. She works hard. She does. She's one of the hardest workers around here. I, I gotta give you a shout out for that, Jeff. So Okay. We are good now. <laughs> I didn't get to see her play. Oh, we well, so we will be there next year. <laughs> Okay. She's a junior. Yeah, she's a junior. Oh, okay. So she's still in high school. Yeah, she, okay, I'm yeah, thinking she just her last good. year or something. You know, and then that leads me to my next segue. What do y'all think about the state of women's basketball right now, girls as a whole? Because this year, you seen the people that was the John, Ma I mean, the John Marsh, the Thomas Dale, mm -hmm. Manchester games, you know. What do y'all think about it right now? I mean, I think it's, it looks better than it did, I know, when I came home from college. You, you have some ballers out here. You just got to get out there and, like you know, like you said, go to the games, which I think I'm going to start back doing because I had not been to a game in a minute because I just didn't see anything and there wasn't no talks about it, right. yeah. no hype about it, like yeah. how it is now. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, from the looks of it, it looks like it's doing doing good. I just hope for this generation they lead them in the right way because mm -hmm. the opportunities that they have now, we didn't have back then. If I didn't like that coach or didn't – Get along with that coach, or they was being spite for a pet. You was stuck. Mm -hmm. the, way yeah. that, the way that sure transfer portal is. Yeah, right it's high now, school transfer free agency right ridiculous. now. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. The NIL deals. Mm -hmm. like, wow, that's like, wild. That's right? crazy. Yeah. They, I, wonder, I wonder if I would have gotten one from PQ's barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> I mentioned them in the paper once. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw it. <laughs> hey, what? They just gave me a free freaking barbecue sandwich. Like, that was it. <laughs> Hey, hey, you never know, you know, <laughs> the, hey. Their exposure is easy because the only way we got exposure was our high school games and if the coaches was coming, you know, college coaches or AAU. You had to play AAU. Right. To get seen, for real, for real, and right. to get recognized and get known so they can come see you. Right. right. They got so many social media outlets and yeah. so forth. It's crazy. Yeah, kids who will be watching this, you're sitting here watching, you know, the real two goats, you know, like I said, you know, Richmond basketball, you know, Central Region basketball here. So I want y'all to understand that if y'all better than these two players and y'all get NIL deals, if y'all want better than them, y'all can't get no NIL deals. <laughs> oh, God. Right I don't know. How, how you would assess that? Because we definitely can't run up and down the court anymore. Yeah. Yeah, we need some footage. We need the. <laughs> I don't think it's out there. Your dad got some. Footage, I'm sure I'm he sure. does somewhere locked away in a well, VHS. Well, him to unlock it, so we show. <laughs> y'all, y'all run circle around these kids today. They, they get more injuries than enough. You know? I don't know. I think the good news is the women's game in college is starting to get a lot of attention for obvious reasons. There's Man. some villains. They're marketing the girls more. Mm -hmm. They're making their money. These coaches, big personalities. Mm -hmm. My girlfriend could not care about. 
sports period Mm -hmm. and she knows like (laughs) she thinks all of it's a joke Mm. and she thinks that kim mulkey is the funniest like she watches lsu games and look at on tiktok look at what kim mulkey said (laughs) thinks it's hilarious i like kim mulkey yeah now i i listen now you know don is don has come back and has done an amazing job with south carolina Mm-hmm. Uh, with the players that she's put in the league, and and like I said, she's out there, she's being herself. Yeah. I love Kim Mulkey, you know, to be able. To, I think Don has won what two championships? She's gonna win this Thank year. It's gonna be three. Yeah. So she's she's gonna win this year. I don't see the hopefully. Who y'all can't count LSU out now? I don't know. See, the only thing now, me personally, I this is just me on record. I think Kim Mulkey's a better coach as far as her strategies and everything, or her in-game adjustments and everything like that, Don just kind of let them go out there and play. Which you know means she's saying? doing a lot in practice right, behind, behind the scenes. Practice. He said they'll figure it out. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Kim really likes out there burning those timeouts to, you know, whatever. But the only thing I think that's going to hurt LSU this year, they don't have a depth. Yeah. I think they got six people, and that's it. They look like Manchester, you know. Yeah, because they lost... That, no, that, I thought they got more than six. Well, they got more more than six on the bench, but they only play six. Katira Poole is in the in, is in the um, transfer portal, uh-huh. and then they, oh, that's they, right. And then, and, and, and they graduated three players last year. No, they 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 can go eight deep. It just depends on if she's going to play them or not. She only plays six. <laughs> But anyway, that national attention will trickle down to six-year-olds right now being like, I want to go be that person. Because you see a lot of different faces that mm-hmm. now can match you because there's so many of them. Back then, it was like Rebecca Lobo and Carol Lawson. And right. there was very few like sh- stars of the game. But you got Caitlin Clark from one end of the spectrum in the Midwest to Angel Reese down in the Bayou or whatever. And I, I just think that that will attract more people to start playing more. And Now, what you think about Caitlin Clark yeah, right now? Leave, yeah, you can't leave her out either. She's yeah, yeah. I would say her team is not as deep as it was Thank last you. year when she had that post play. Thank you, uh, Shazano, Monica Shazano. But yeah. you still can't can't count her out. Man, you got to check that girl as soon as she oh, comes across half. She can take over yeah. a game. She can take over a game, and if you don't stop her or you let her get hot, yeah. it's gonna be a long. Why? And she can pass so well too. Yes. So the adjustment. People give her a hard time though. What do they give her what a hard time mean? about? I, like. I, 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 well, me personally, I think they give her a hard time because I, I think that she's a white girl. Yeah. That's what I think. That's that's definitely a thing. That that that's the thing. I think I, I think if because she's a white girl, I think that it's a hard press. Mm. Like Cheryl Swoops has said that she thought personally that when she gets to the WNBA, she don't think that Kate LaClock is going to do as well. Then she ended up having to take back her comments because they felt like that it was kind of like. Because she won't have athleticism because she's... Yeah, something, something like that. But, but you have players already in the WNBA that's doing what she's doing. You have Plum. Right, you have Plum. Mm-hmm. Plum yep. Plum's doing that already. Right. Yeah. You have the one that's in New York Liberty. The uh, one that Brianna didn't Stewart. even get a... No, the one that didn't even get a chance to play in a national championship because of COVID. Oh, my God. The white girl. Where'd she go? Where'd uh, she go? Uh, uh, Sabrina. Sabrina. Yeah. Yeah, Sabrina. Yeah, Sabrina. yeah went to Oregon. Went to Oregon. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nescu. Yeah. <laughs> Can, will light your fire? Oh yeah, yeah. Plum lefty will light. They already doing it. Right. Shoot three, four, five feet behind the line. Right. Her handles is good. You yeah. don't have to be no quick person. If you got four, five different arsenals of ball handling skills, well, okay. If I do this, I know you are gonna go there. Mm-hmm. But if I double back, you go move, and I'm gonna go this way. So mm-hmm. she don't really have to be fast, fast. The girl can score. She can score from anywhere. And she can pay it. And she it ain't like she. I'm just scoring, and I'm just good for thirty. 40 points, I don't do nothing else. Mm-hmm. She would drop the 40 on you and didn't have 15 assists. Ain't gonna think none of it. <laughs> ain't gonna talk trash. To you. Ain't gonna talk trash. Ain't gonna talk trash. To you. <laughs> do y'all think, do, do, did y'all see that South Carolina? Um, the fight you see? The Iowa oh. game last year. Yeah. Oh, I don't remember. Probably. Do you remember the part where Raven Johnson was wide open and and, and, and <laughs> Kayla Clark waved her off and said, "I'm that's not gonna go out there." <laughs> I said, "Damn, that's disrespectful." But did, but did you have a problem with it? No. Thank. There yeah, we go. There we go. 
They, so Caitlin Clark just waved her off. Waved right, her she off. just waved her off. I'm so you. if you if you're there's the a girl line wide open, I'm where he's at. And so if it's a girl that you know they can't shoot, you ain't gonna shoot it. You, you, so you're not, <laughs> Anna, I, I'm looking at you, you ain't gonna wave her off. Like, nah, I ain't worrying about her. She can stand right there and shoot all day. Yeah, she wouldn't She shoot. waved her off. And then she started to shoot it, but that's just something said, I would do. It wasn't shooting. That, that's what I know. That's why I'm looking at you like, Anna, I know, I know. And she For wasn't sure. confident no at all. And she was a freshman. But I think Don Stanley is good for finding players that can yes, run the right, offense. right. right. And she find play defense. Yep. All of them gonna play defense. All of them gonna play you. Playing. If you don't play defense, you ain't playing for Dawn. But I do see that she got her ass in that gym last year and she was shooting them. She shoot much better than now she. she's starting to play for Wiley more. Yeah, I see that she put for Wiley in the starting lineup. Mm -hmm. You think Virginia has any hope of getting Dawn Staley back? Hell no. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Unless Dawn Staley wanna go back and coach all of all. I could I mean I if she wants but to. But they asked her twice and she said no. Oh, she well, turned well, them down well. twice. Oh no. Yeah. Ain't no need to I'm be honest. I'm not sure they went about it the right way from Since what I heard. you're a UVA it. alum, I'm going uh, <laughs> I'm going to pose this question to you. Yes. Why do you think what what why is the culture why we can't get it together? There you go. Uh, See, like, I ain't even had to say it. It seems like coach Mox, coach Mox, I don't know her well at all. She's, uh, it seems like she's changing it. The, the new AD. No, the co the coach. The coach. They're oh. there right now. Her oh. name is coach Mox. And they um they had a decent season. They have a freshman that came out of stab. Kamal uh, Johnson. She's yeah. awesome. Yeah, she's awesome. That kid is yeah, amazing. Yeah. She was a three-sport athlete at Stab, mm -hmm. played volleyball, then basketball, and then soccer. I, Trinity beat them in volleyball in five sets, and she was pissed. She had her coach out on the court for like 10 minutes after. They were jarring back and forth about whatever went on in the game. And I'm well, like, I, I love that you are a basketball player mm -hmm. that should not care about this sport, right. but you're just a dog of an athlete. Yeah. Yeah. You are competitive. Yeah, and I was like, she's going to be something mm -hmm. in college, and she already and she's is. playing. I don't know about past years. We haven't really been able to get it together, honestly, since like my freshman year at UVA. Because Debbie had some rough years at the end. I mean, she's obviously a legend and the OG, right, and right, I love her, and her, yeah. she's amazing. I've talked to her recently. Really? But then after a while, yeah, Deb, Debbie beat pancreatic cancer. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, when I was in school. Are you serious? And, and my sister is fighting breast cancer right now, so Debbie's been calling me all the time. Wow. That's the type of shit that matters yeah. in coaching. Right, right, right. When they're they reaching out beyond. when it has, has nothing to do with basketball. Yeah. Okay. But I guess the few coaches after her just didn't want to be there, couldn't get it together. But, I mean, God, like, you've got all the pieces in place. It's a beautiful university. Mm -hmm. The facilities are out of this world. You're playing in the ACC. Mm -hmm. How come we haven't been to the Sweet 16 since NAM? And it's crazy <laughs> because I want, I had Jason Williford here recently, and I meant to ask him that, and that was one of the questions I didn't ask him for the reasons. Like, you know, of course, they're successful on the men's side. You know, like like he did mention, I said, Coach Bennett's going to recruit a certain type of player mm -hmm. because, you know, like offensively, UVA men's is, seems kind of boring. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, if, if you're looking to score the basketball, you're not going to UVA to do that. Sure, you know? yeah. They're going to slow that thing down, pack that defense, pack, pack line defense and all that. But I, I just don't understand from the women's basketball, you had success in, in basketball, men's basketball. In football, the same thing. I know. That's, that's the more frustrating thing for me. I don't know. I'm not inside the program. There's little things that can be happening that you have no idea about right, with right. chemistry right. issues and behavioral issues, things that aren't even the coach's fault. So I can't speak to it. But, but I know you would like to see your... Especially football. Those were the days, man. <laughs> it ain't the days now because... Yeah, but... It's like watching out paint dry. Right now, these days, it's all about the, the NIL deal. Yeah, you know. so yeah. That I mean, it's just be, different. Uh, reason see, why they're not getting recruits, like talking about unless you go in there for the, a certain right. degree or who knows, right? Yeah, who knows? And you know, if UVA is going to go after that private school kid. Mm -hmm. They're not going to go after those dog athletes. Like I, like I asked Jason when he was here. I remember him and I was at um, the Dematha. Uh, they have this tournament every year, Dematha, and Anthony Edwards, that's Minnesota yeah. uh, Timberwolves. Yeah. He was in high school, and he said, you know, I go all for that guy, but coach, that ain't the type of player he won't, you know. Yeah. And he was at a private school yeah. at that particular time, but he was like, man, it's tough, you know. And, of course, the next year, 
if I'm not mistaken, I think twenty, I think it was 2018 because we watched Mondo was playing for IMG. Okay, so I think yeah. it was the same year. It was yeah. the same year. Mondo was playing for IMG, and that same year, UVA won the national championship that year. Mm. And I was just like, well, I guess we count that out because once he win, he's a god there now. Because <laughs> I think that's the only championship they won. I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we didn't even win it when Ralph was there. Sure didn't. Or Dawn. They made it to the Final Four, yeah, too. Dawn, she yeah, she couldn't beat Tennessee. Yeah, but Tennessee remember, was stacked. Yeah, yeah, Those yeah. games were awesome. I remember those being uh, they were very young bad. watching those games. I think there was a triple overtime one. Yeah, yeah. And then I think they lost to UConn when UConn was real young at that time before Gino went. Yeah, and Gino like coached that. the UVA for a while before he was ever yeah, he, up there. Yeah, yeah, he did, yeah. yeah him and Debbie were together. Mm-hmm. Him and Debbie Ryan was together, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Gene didn't like Debbie Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking Boy, about. <laughs> I know the brother. And I, see, this is the thing about me. I, I, and this is what I think about, I love about Coach. She's unapologetic. You know what I'm saying? That's why I can respect her because. Debbie? No, well, I, I don't know Debbie Debbie's that well. At, at very all. unapologetic. Right. Yeah. Well, from Tiffany. I heard stories from Tiffany. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But Gene just like. Because Tiffany went to UVA mm-hmm. because she wanted to play for, you know, because Don went there. And her experiences wasn't the best. Yeah. Know? But um, I remember she said that Jean told her that she shouldn't go to UVA. Gino, yeah. Yeah, that she said she wasn't going to play. And Jean was right because she should have went to play for ODU. Which oh, yeah, was ODU thing. was great back then. ODU threw the book at Tiffany and Tiffany didn't go. Tisa Penichero. Yes, that was a There you go. It was right there. Her and Nairi that, uh, Roberts. That and, coach with the towel over her shoulder. Whoever uh, yeah. Um, yep. Towel over her yeah, Wendy Larry. Wendy yeah. Larry. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And uh, Mary Andretti. They they had the, the squad. Yeah. They ain't, you know, same thing. Can't, can't get back over the hump, Tiffany man. Tiffany Bauer is one of the best that ever did it here in Richmond, that's for sure. Who's that? Tiffany. Yeah. Tiffany Bob. Do you remember when Katie Tracy picked her pocket, though, to win the... No, I didn't. Oh, oh my no. God. That was amazing. I no. I... Katie was... It was mid, either... She was a freshman at Midlow. Yeah, Tiffany, remember Katie thing. Tracy went to Midlow her first year. Right. She, that's right. She sure did. And it was an overtime game, and freshman Katie Tracy picked her pocket to win it. Oh, wow. I got to mess with Tiffany on wow. that. Wow. See if she remembers that. Yeah. <laughs> I could just I'm, I'm be pretty sure. That. She don't forget too much. I'm yeah. sure she remembered that if it was a key point of the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just remember, you know, her dropping that 46. I forgot who they who she beat. Tiff dropped that 46. Who did they beat? Somebody. Is it the ass shut up? And they, uh, that's when I started calling her 46 point Tiff. <laughs> or Monica. She was around when Chevette was playing, right? Yeah, her and Chevette came on the same year. <laughs> Chevette is salt of the earth. And she's still coaching. She is the best person. Wait, wait a minute. Y'all was coaching against each other. We did when I was at Atley. Yeah. yeah. She just started then. In fact, yeah, that was the year <laughs> that she got a transfer in the uh, postseason from Monacan. Something was going on with that child's life, which is fine. Toya Ricks. Yeah. And she shows up at Elsie Bird for the postseason, and she's one of the better players in the region. She went to Thomas Dale. And we're the one seed. Mm. And I'm thinking, all right, what's going to be fine? Well, she transfers over to Bird, and, and we match big. up with them. And I'm like, this is not fair. <laughs> yeah, she was big. And don't you know they beat us? <laughs> Toya Ricks, I remember. Man, that made me mad. <laughs> we had Rochelle Price, Sydney um, yep. Henderson. Uh, I mean, Lindsey yeah, yeah, Martin, yeah, like yeah, yeah, you had, we were yeah, loaded. Yeah, you had man, y'all were Kristen loaded, Leskley, man. like mm. loaded. I Britt Hill, I couldn't even decide. I was, who to I was surprised I had so many. y'all didn't win. Cause that damn girl transferred, <laughs> threw it all off, <laughs> threw everything off, <laughs> and we didn't play well, and you know all that. It was a home game too. No. That was one of the worst losses of my coaching career. That game. Well, but sweet, I mean, how you mad at Chevette? Like she is so sweet. And she's still and just a heart of gold. Her daughter's about to play now. Her daughter's coming to high school now. Really? She, I think she said once her daughter done. Does she have twins? No. Am I thinking something? No. no. Okay. I don't think they're twins. No, she got born a girl, but I don't think. They're okay. Twins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Chevette's great. Yeah, you know, well, no, nah, man, like I said, but I, I just want to you know what, no, it'd be sweet if both of y'all get back out there and coach team. I don't think that's gonna happen. We can get y'all hired at Thomas. I'll coach Dale. if Natasha coaches with me. <laughs> we, we, Thomas Dale have. <laughs> stuck over <laughs> y'all you want to say more about Tom Steele he is stuck on a replacement <laughs> God, that's so bad you're so bad 
<laughs> you were not in those huddles every single day. I sure did. I'm and not so in those you don't huddles. Know everything. I don't know everything. I don't know what's going on. I don't know, I don't know what know offense the sets there that running. Every town's got a dude that just talks basketball all over town yeah, and knows and, everything. And don't, and don't, that's it. That's and, him. And, and, for don't Richard. Know, and don't know yeah. nothing. Yeah, it just so shows up. They show up and just talking trash. Get Coaches either down. love him or hate him. He's rubbing people the, one the one wrong way. <laughs> don't come in the gym. I gotta. They make me pay to go to the game. I think this is a character you put on. You really think that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a character. You might want to. You'd be smart if it, you could just up the character a little bit. And get more views. You're the heel. You're he the heel of Richmond. Time. He tells me that all the time. You got to be the heel. Yeah, Tim tells me that all the time. So keep it rolling. Well, yeah, I'm not coaching anytime soon. No. Why not? I need some time away from the game because I've either been playing, coaching, or been an administrator. So I need a basketball season off where I don't have to be at Man, the back you of the gym. Stocks can put an AAU team so I think if I get away from it for a couple years, then I'll I'll maybe feel the what passion again. What do you think, Stocks? What? I don't know because that might be her headache. <laughs> she might have tamed my mouth and her. <laughs> that, that exactly and what happened. You she can't be even put that You're handling the parents. <laughs> <laughs> you are talking to the parents. Yeah, you, yeah, I'm you, done talking. Yeah, On July 1st, I will never talk to another parent <laughs> again. Hey, you know what? <laughs> I this can is what imagine we, your headache. This is what we need to do. July 1st, we need to redo this podcast. And that way that I know she's going to let talk. loose. And at that <laughs> point, loose on she that can one. just, she, yeah, July 2nd, <laughs> She's officially. I'll come in a book. different person. All these yeah. big hoops on. Telling you, I'm no. telling you. No, we, we. I'm telling you, man. No, it, I, I'm just. I'm, I'm just thank y'all for making the game. You know the way that it is. Y'all played the game the right way, and guys have guys like me to come up here to get people like yourselves to come back and just share y'all experiences or what y'all went through because. Um, I know a lot of the youngins nowadays, they don't really care about history. They don't really know too much about it. Their parents mm -hmm. don't really know too much about it. They just want to make sure that little Timmy and little Johnny Rocket, you know, can, yeah. you know, they can go to work and brag about what they did and stuff mm -hmm. like that. They don't really know nothing about the history. So I just want to personally thank y'all for just having me be able to come up here and do this because, you know, having y'all do what y'all did, fill up that ass, Jenna, and, you know, the Seagulls in the way y'all did, man, it was just it's a joy. And I have to I'm glad I had to bring y'all back here to kind of relive some of that stuff, you know. Yeah. The, the Thank you. Need that. Thank uh, you. It's fun to go down memory lane and I feel a little nostalgic. <laughs> you know, the ghosts of the Arthur Ashe Center, right? <laughs> like there's a lot of us and that that was a good time. And I do hope that these kids appreciate the people who came before them because I'm worried a little bit about the selfish self ishness yeah. that is permeating through mm -hmm. really youth sports in general and it's it's the adults fault and the adults have got to start putting their eye back on the ball that it's so much bigger than just attention and money and playing time and all that it's it's the connections with people it's connections with your teammates it's connections with your community it's learning stuff that's going to get you through when people are fighting cancer right like mm -hmm. that's that's the stuff that's important. So also, I think we should thank you. Like I'm over here joking that you're the villain and that you need to play the role as a heel, <laughs> but you're also promoting girls basketball and boys basketball, high school basketball in a, in your hometown. And it, that means a lot to you. And whether you're saying stuff that people get irritated about or whether you're co-signing and patting people on the back, like all that matters to keep it alive and to keep it fun. Mm -hmm. And so I think that we should thank you too, and the game should thank you here, especially in this town, because high school well, basketball definitely. is a big deal here. Yeah. Well, like I, I appreciate it. You know, like I tell people, I'm 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 not Sean Robertson, I'm not Chip, you know, Tarkenton or Bray. I'm not none of those people. I'm just a person that's an enthusiast in the words of Coach Boom. Shout out to Coach Boom of Arana. Um, I love the game. You know what I'm saying? I love sports. You know, I've gone to a lot of football games here, so I'm real got kind of attached to the football side, but basketball is going to always be my heart, especially girls' basketball, because I've been following it since 91. And, mm -hmm. you know, I'm going to speak my mind, regardless of how I feel. I, I really don't care whether they like me or not. I'm not here to be liked. I just want to just put some perspective on this thing because, I mean, because sometimes I look at some of these coaches and some of these players, I believe they're cheating the game. And I hate to see the game being cheated that way. You know, you got... A lot of we had a lot of talent in our town alone. This year we had three 
Mm -hmm. three top 100 basketball players in that area alone. I think that deserves some recognition. Yeah. yeah you know, of course. Well, well, honestly, in our state, but two of them here, Mia was top 100 and Laney is, was top 25. Wow. That's awesome. And you telling me that nobody here knows that? Then we had then then if you want to go back a few years, we had Megan Walker, number one player in the country. That's who I've always said is the best that ever came out of Richmond. Am I wrong about that? I didn't watch enough. Well, you it, well you it, well I in the last I heard that she was a dog. Well, she was, but then you got to go back to Jesse Hicks in ADH W WNBA. She coached the Georgia uh, West for a while, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, yeah. Um, um, uh, no, she went to TJ. But I think she coached it for like a real yeah, short amount yeah. of time. Yeah. Um, then you make it say you might go back. I mean, you, you can make an argument when the last 20 years from 2000 to now. I mean, you can make an argument, you know, besides y'all two, you can make an argument for accomplishments wise what Megan did as far as being the number one basketball player in the country. I mean, yeah. I mean, that. I did you get recruited by UConn? Because I did not. <laughs> Earlier. Did but you? I think what hit me hard was. Your ass the senior year. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you see how she threw that in there? See, I told you it was coming. Because what boom? This, this was what was more important to me, and what shocked me more was. Oh, that's good. Even though you know they won it all, which is awesome, right? Right. Mm -hmm. I still to this day don't understand how I go four years and don't get. I think I was a option. I don't know what the word was they called it back then. I don't know if it was an option or a whatever to the the which one call it game. The game you played before called Yes, to the McDonald's. Alternate. Game. Yeah. yeah, alternate. Like, huh? Yeah, what? That's weird. Yeah. And and what do you think that don't, what's you what do you think that's about? And I'm gonna put it on. I think it's because a lot of people in that sector did not like Gene. They yep. ain't got shit. To I do totally agree with, with that. Me. You can not like my coach, not like whatever. I agree with that. But that don't got nothing to do with me. You see what I'm saying? I you did not have her personality like that. I, I don't even face. talk on the court. Even if you said I've zero had, words. Yeah, I had a zero. lot of people to talk to me. I don't talk on the court. You just I wasn't because I don't. I don't know for some reason I was that player that I didn't want nobody to seem or think because of these accolades that I'm cocky or mm -hmm. you know because some people take trash talking as that or yeah. you you think you this or you all that. So you got to mm -hmm. humble. So I was more like. I'm not. I'm not. About, I'm gonna just bust your ass. Because mm -hmm. I had a lot of people that talk. Like, was that taught to, to you by your parents, or that's just something you innately just, had? I don't know. I just for some reason it was in me. It was I just had? I just didn't want anybody to right. think that or assume that or try to put that label. But you on felt me. confident. Yeah, I was confident, but I never was cocky or big headed or any of that. And I just didn't ever want that label. Because sometimes when you players, definitely when you're known. Forget how you play. Mm -hmm. They put that on you. Mm -hmm. I see you in the newspaper. I see you don't even know me. Mm -hmm. I know. You know what I'm saying? It's like you don't know me just because somebody does talk trash or do what Angel Reese do or whatever. Don't mean they come. Yeah, and I ain't got That's no just how they play, how they get their energy, they vibe. But I just felt like I was like, look, I don't, I'm, I, I, first of all, I was a shy person anyway. Mm -hmm. So I just didn't even talk a lot anyway. I just played the game. For real, for real. I don't mind Angel Reese to try to talk. And I yeah, it's a zero game. problem. Somebody got it. I have zero problem with her, <laughs> Fage, yeah. none of them. I ain't got no problem it's in with between the lines. If she's doing that at a grocery store, right. yeah, I got like that. This person probably sucks. But to me, like I said, it's part of the game. Yeah. Like, game. I had to find some advantages. Like, I'm a 5'8 white girl that's not that fast and not that quick. <laughs> like, I gotta. Yeah, I gotta do something. Like, back then it was 5'8. I grew a little bit after that. But I had to figure out wh what's another thing I can do. I can chirp. Mm. And I'm not saying anything personal. Yeah. Or like, right, like, I don't even know you like that. Yeah. I'm not even probably even using curse words, but I'm just saying little stuff here and there and make the person be like, yeah. I saw uh, I saw a clip today with um on um Matt Bonds' podcast where Kelsey Plum was like, We talk trash as much as to much as the boys do. And the men, mm -hmm. she was just like, she said, We do, she said it's probably even worse. She said, because we can get cattier with our stuff, yeah. you know. And that's what she was saying. She was like, No. She said, I have no problem with Angel Reese or nobody else they're doing. She said, I actually applaud it. Sometimes it's just fun. It's just fun. Yeah. Right. It's like I don't want no boring. Literally game. nothing. It's just what it is. And at the end of the day, you you may see clock or you may see Angel Reese, but you don't know what that player that said to them. Yeah. Either. You see what I'm saying? Always catch the second <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, you always, always catch the main one, the yeah. superstar, because they 
they keep the cameras on them. Mm -hmm. So you're going to catch, just like they caught her pulling her hair. Mm -hmm. It's part of the game. Part of the game. I'm right. trying to get you frustrated. Right. <laughs> it happens all the time. You remember back in the day, the guys was in the NBA, was doing all types of pulling stuff, doing... Oh, my like, God. Like, the like, NBA in the 80s? Jesus. Right. Yeah. You know. I think it promotes the game. Right. Because you're seeing these personalities Personality, come out, which right. they can market. And that was always the argument with women's sports. They're not getting marketed the way yeah. the right. men are. Well, all right. Well, we got to market the good one and the heel and the vic and the villain and all that. And that they're doing a Joe damn good Tarazzi job. Rossi have a problem with busting you in your ass. Yeah. You know. Oh. Gosh, Rossi she's still don't. playing. Yeah. She's, she's, still she's playing. our age. Yeah. Yes. But Tarazzi don't care. <laughs> I don't know she how she cares. does that. She must yeah. eat. Tarazzi don't care. I don't know what she got. Tarazzi don't care. Maya Moore show didn't care when she was out there killing people. I wish she would have kept me. Man, I wish she... Oh, man. But oh, I my her God. That, that was my favorite place. <laughs> but... Whew. Yeah, you, you, was, I mean, I can go back to that. I, I love Maya Moore. Why'd she stop playing? To get her now husband, husband out of freed jail. out of jail. I don't know what it I was, was know about that. the... I know I'm going to have to go and how? look at it thoroughly, too. I don't know how she met him... Or if it's something that just, just took to her justice, and then, yeah. and he was innocent, I believe, and wow. she had to get out. Like she paused her career. career. And then she never went back. Just and to advocate back. for him. And That's George wild. still endorses her. Good for her. That's awesome. I had no idea yeah. about that. Yeah. Yeah. So. I played against Carol Lawson. She never said anything. Yeah, I played against Carol Lawson. Carol dropped like 50 million that points. <laughs> <laughs> really we we blew that one too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey, Carol Lawson. We should have won that one. I played against her. I want to say my freshman year. She's we should have won it that year. Dog. Well, yeah, West Springfield. Yeah, because they won in '99. Yeah, ninety. Matter of fact, that yeah, was the 99. year that we played them. Yep. She had the flu playing us. She had forty-eight. I already said she had. 48. Yeah, because I played her one year, <laughs> and I, I guarded her. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she gave you forty-eight. <laughs> yeah, at least. Oh, Lord. Yeah, Thick as a dog. She I was so sick. Carol Lawson was a cold <laughs> beast. <laughs> but she didn't yeah, say a word. She had some dogs to come out this yeah. state, man. That's why I said Virginia don't get enough credit, you know? Who was that one that went down to Georgia and pissed everybody off? A player? Lakeisha Fred. Lakeisha Fred. Wasn't she from Virginia? She went to Phoebus. Yeah. Yeah, and everybody thought she was and headed to UVA, and she said, bye. Nope. She went to, she went to, and she still holds the state record in points. 3,200 some point. I think she came back and coached at UVA as an yeah, assistant for a while. Assistant. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I yeah, remember she, that one. Yeah. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, she. I think she's still in Georgia. And then every now and again, I don't know if you remember this, like when you play AAU, you'd run into some dogs from like Southwest Virginia. These big, yeah. thick girls are just bald and you never heard of them. No, never heard of and them. And you never hear about them since. Yeah, think about Chris. But during Tolliver, AAU, you'd be like, where'd you come from? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know Krista Tolliver was from Harrisonburg. Oh yeah, that's right. Played yeah, in Maryland. She played the player of the year. The same that's year, right. She did. She um, sure did. Jasmine Young. That's why Jasmine Young didn't get it one year because oh, of what a um, random part of the state. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, and you know, then she went on to Maryland. I was like, I said, so Dad, Jasmine Young. The reason you ain't get it because of Kristen Tyler. Well, you can't be mad at that. Kristen Tyler was a beast too. She yeah. Sure beast. was. I mean, cold too. Yeah. Didn't look like nothing. Didn't look like nothing. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? Do y'all? And we'll get y'all up out here on this. Do y'all think that we gonna ever see any women NBA coaches, professional coaches at all? It seems like that tide is turning. Aren't there already a few assistants in the NBA? Yeah, yeah. you got a lot of them. You know, um, I mean, when Becky went to the WNBA, right? And then you got Lindsey Harden uh, from Duke. Um, Tolliver was on somebody's sideline. Yeah, Tolliver was. Yeah, I can't remember what team it was though. I think she. I think it might have been <clears throat> Lakers or it was somebody. Somebody like that. To me, the game is so different. Like I get that the NBA is the the mecca and you're gonna make more money and everything, but I feel like the guys and girls game is very different. Very so you got to go where you can make the most impact. My thing is, and I don't know, we had a lot of talent come out in those. 80s, 90s, as far as women basketball, regardless of what state it was. Because mm -hmm. when you tuned in, you was looking at UConn, you was looking at Tennessee, you was looking at Duke was good at that time. You was looking mm -hmm. at a lot of different teams. And with the talent that's coming out now, I feel like what are they going to do to fix me going into a draft and I get drafted, but I don't have a team to go to because now I didn't get dropped. They need more teams. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. And they don't have enough team for the yeah, talent remember, that's coming out. Do you watch the WNBA? I watch it. Do you? I do a little I bit, don't, yeah. I don't. I, I watch it. it. See, I'm it. into... Like what, like you said, the excitement. Vegas, they give you that. Yeah, Vegas, oh my yes. god! I, I, I'll Plum. watch the playoff teams. Who you got? Plum, and uh, uh, what's the post player? Wilson. Asia Wilson, Candace yeah, Parker. Yeah. Um, Candace Parker still yeah, playing. Yes, still playing. Oh She's still playing. Wow! Well, like their team is deep. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't. I just don't know anybody that watches, and I don't. 
And I, it, it, I'm ashamed good, of that, but I just as good as the game is, I still think college is still gonna reign supreme. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I I would love to watch a WNBA, but I just can't watch it. <laughs> I, I don't think I watch it during the playoffs. You know, and that's when I was like, okay, I was like, all right, but. Since Maya Moore left, it, I really have no interest in watching other than watching Vegas. Yeah. New York Liberty? They were good this year. Yes, because they stole um, Brianna Stewart, Stewart from, from um, Seattle. Seattle. See, y'all know a lot. I don't know. Yeah, you know. Yeah, they had a decent yeah, team. Yeah, yeah, I watch decent. golf. <laughs> that I can't Tennis. watch. And I, I can't watch that watch baseball on, on TV neither. <laughs> I love, love baseball. Grand Slam, Yankee, Slam tennis. Baby. Yeah, I can watch it. I can watch it live, but I can't watch it on TV. <laughs> baseball? Baseball. Yeah, I can go to a game all day. Who are you who are you a fan of? Uh I like the Dodgers. Oh, wow, it's so random. <laughs> I do. I mean, just all the way, Elliot. Well, I can't yeah, talk because my, yeah. my football. When, when the Braves, was here, <laughs> let me be quiet. See, I don't really never had a team. I just I like anybody who played the Yankees. Mm -hmm. You know, because everybody yeah. was Yankees fans. So when the Braves was here, I followed the Braves. Hell yeah! And then <laughs> and I just think the Dodgers. I just love the colors, but I always follow the players. Yankees had the same colors, damn it. But you, but you got but you got to think about. <laughs> Well, like think about it. 1988, 1988 was the last time the Dodgers won. 1988, I was in California for a whole summer. Oh, okay. So I was out there and with Kirk Gibson Tony Lasorda. Huh? Tony Lasorda, is that the manager? Yeah, yeah thing? Tommy Lasorda. Tommy yeah. Lasorda. Yeah. yeah. So I was in California from June <laughs> to September. Oh, that's cool. So cause my uncle who lived in Victorville. He was a um, master sergeant in the Air Force. Okay. So he was here in Hampton, moved out there. So... At that point, I got to see bowling. They was in the bowling, but we went to a lot of baseball games. So it was like, okay, I'm a Laker fan. Okay, definitely I'm going to watch the Dodgers. So I came back and we played baseball. See, back then, AAU basketball wasn't big. It was yeah, no, baseball. No. You leave basketball, you go play baseball. You just glossed over that you were a bowling fan. Yeah. <laughs> my, uncle, my uncle told us bowling. Damn, too. <laughs> what? I look at all, damn near yeah. all sports. Yeah, bowling. Yeah. <laughs> Name a bowler. I, d I can't. <laughs> I can't. She my aunt, my aunt Cat, Lord rest in peace. My aunt Cat and Uncle Nat, they bowled. That's yeah. all they did. They Man. from 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 San Diego to LA, all the way up Northern California. That whole summer. That's why we was doing was traveling with them because they had bowling tournaments. Yeah, they actually had bowling tournaments back yeah. then. I would love to be. Yeah, I just don't know if they still do now because my aunt and her um boyfriend they. Yeah, they, they bowl. He was in a bowling tournament. I can't bowl a lick. I mean, I they take act like I can bowl, too. but I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love I, I love to yeah. go do it, but I hey no, nah, if I get a fifty or a sixty or something like that, you know, hey, that's that's a good day. <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's terrible. You know? Right, right. Yeah, we gotta, yeah we gotta but um, <laughs> but yeah, y'all. But no, I, I appreciate y'all coming on here, man. You know, this is this was dope. I like, getting y'all back together, you know. Bringing this back here, to class of two thousand. Both y'all class of two thousand, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Y'all, y'all bought in the millennium, man. <laughs> Twenty five years almost. Twenty five years almost here. Yeah. We just bringing this stuff, and, and I, I really appreciate you coming. You know, get, to get, you taking my call, and you know, you was psyched when I said, "Man, you come on this show with stocks." She was like, "Hell yeah!" yeah. <laughs> you know, and just having y'all just brainstorm and just talk about stuff. Two of the best that ever did it in this city, man. And y'all, like I said, a lot of the fans, people gonna see this and stuff like this. This was dope. This was dope. I thank you. And stocks, you came out of nowhere. You like a ghost. Deep yeah. Tonight. <laughs> yeah, truly. I'd be in yeah. hibernation. I'd yeah. fight out on my <laughs> I was like, man, they said, man, you need to get stocks on. I was like, shout out to Ray Cherry for this, because he, you know, got her out there and <laughs> jelly, you know what I'm saying? So just looking out. But I was like, I ain't seen stocks, so I couldn't tell you. Call Gene. I ain't messing with Jean. <laughs> Make sure and tell Jean I said hello. I will. To her. Yeah, I'm definitely going to tell her. Yes. Anna says hello. Yeah. And tell me what she says. I'm going to tell her. Record I'm, I'm her. A, I'm going to record it. I'm going to I'm going to call you so when I call yeah. you. And, and don't give her a heads up so she can no, no, say all the things. <laughs> You're really trying to get me thrown off the porch. <laughs> Talking trash about a 17-year-old. Hey, babe. Hey, that's Jean. Jean didn't care. She, hey, man. You, you Look, stocks, you, you, you know. Nothing but respect, obviously. No, it, it is. It ain't nothing but respect. No, nothing like that. But y'all, but you know, y'all want any shout outs before we wrap this thing up? No shout outs? Trinity. Shout out Trinity. Shout out Trinity. <laughs> All the coaches, you dog. My boys. What coaches? All of them you say negative things about. The ones at Trinity? <laughs> yeah. All of them. 
April 2 in particular. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> he narrows it down. And, and, I love all of them. And you know ain't but one I really don't like, and you know the reason why. So I'm not going to even say who it is, but we know who it is. <laughs> and I saw him recently. You weren't in the locker room. You weren't in the huddles. <laughs> I sure you weren't won't. in the coaches meeting. I sure won't. I ain't know none of that. <laughs> I just let the kids tell and me. And the exactly funny thing is your son likes these people. That I can't attest to. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, but Lee got along with everybody. Your son is so nice. But thank he, you. He's nothing like me. <laughs> nothing like you. <laughs> he's nothing like me. He is an awesome child. Like I guess me. he's not a child anymore. We no, loved having no, Malik there. No, but yes, that but I, is. But I, but I did see you know who recently. I hope you were nice. I walked in, I showed my badge, and I left about. And he said, he had to face me. He had to face me. It was like walking in. This was two weeks ago. Walked in, he smiled. I said, he got to face me. <laughs> My badge goes. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm being petty. 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 Uh, <laughs> petty. We didn't use no names. I didn't say no names, but yeah. I think you should get him on. Why? I should be your producer. I could get all the people on. Why? Because it's good must-see podcast TV. Yeah, he coming on he here. made it out. We're going to get all the people and we're just going to line them up and y'all can talk it out. I will spice it up a little bit. I would love for that to do it. Matter of fact, you hook that up. All right, let's and do he, it. And I, and then I think you're going to realize he's a really, really good guy. I had no issues with him. Incredibly cerebral. I had no issues with him. I said what I said and I stand on business on this what I said. This man wants to show up at this guy's open gym and his son is not I was on invited. the team. <laughs> I was but invited. Not by the adult. I, not, not by, by an adult. adult. I was invited. By the players, I was asked to come by Burt and Henry oh, Coleman to come out. You're saying too many names. I'm, I'm gonna I'm, I'm give that much, and I got and I got the DMs to prove it. Mm. So I I got I the, would, receipts. I, the receipts. Got the receipts. <laughs> and on that note, Bye. before that bang hit, we are out. <laughs> I appreciate y'all watching the episode again today, y'all. You know, go over and make sure that y'all check out my man, rickstocker.com, for any of your home buying needs. Appreciate it. Thanks again.